So one thing that I've really got into the last few years is fishing with an underwater camera. You know, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, especially ice fishing, you probably ran into some really awesome lake trout videos with underwater footage like this. But one thing that I don't see very much online is underwater video of burbot. And I think kind of the main reason for that is the fact that, ooh, there's one right there. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's daytime right now. Uh, most guys fish them at night, and I think that's why that's why most guys don't use a camera. Um, but it's really fun. As you can see, I was watching that fish. It was twirling around my bait. I actually didn't notice them because I was looking at you at first. Not a huge one. I say not a huge one because I just got done looking at a 15 and a half pound burbot. Beautiful patterns. Kind of like a leopard print fish. Beautiful. Anyway, we'll get this guy back in the water. The lake that we're on right now, Reed Lake, is fairly clear, but it's definitely clear enough to run a camera. So probably the main reason why I use an underwater camera, outside of the entertainment, of course, um, is because you can learn so quickly using it. You know, a lot of guys who've gotten really good at reading flashers believe that they can read the mood of the fish, and, and they can, but it's impossible to beat actually watching them. You know, in my opinion, I think you can learn more in one week of using an underwater camera than you can a whole season on the ice. You can really refine your jigging strokes and just kind of learn about the species that you're chasing. And all of this fails to mention the fact that it's insanely fun. Um, to me, there's, there's, no, there's no funner funner way to catch fish than actually watching them. It's like, it's like sight fishing in open water, but you can see them even better because the camera's this far from the bait. It's a little more work, as you can maybe see in front of me here. You know, I use a big external battery so that this big screen is running all day long. Um, it's a little tougher to lug all that around, but to me personally, it's worth it. 